Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Oh, um, mommy, press the button. Press the button. You wanna press the button? Mm, okay, let me quickly get this done. Press uh, the button! Okay, Kassim, wait, it's Mama's turn. My turn. Saturday today and we're on our way to visit the zoo. So yeah. I will bring you along and I'll see you soon and I'll let him press some buttons now. So, catch you soon. Bye. car Gazim's fast asleep he only dozed off about 20 minutes ago so I don't want to wake him up otherwise he's gonna be in such a bad mood so I'm gonna give him another 10-15 minutes and then we're gonna head home um, while I was waiting um, in the car I've been playing this game it's called June's journey and it is so addictive I'm not that kind of person that plays games um, but I came across this on Instagram and basically it reminded me of a game that I played on the aeroplane on the way to Umrah and all it is is you get a you know a picture of a room with different objects and you have to find those objects within a time frame and yeah uh, you win rewards and money and things like that and you can build up your little island like check out my little mansion <laughs> if you want to go to a zoo and you're from Yorkshire forget going to Yorkshire Wildlife Park because it's not that great compared to the Chester zoo which i know is further away however it's so much better because it's just interactive like they have a drive-through section where all the animals get to like not all the animals but certain animals like monkeys like come and jump on your car and things like that and it's such, so much more fun and um, whereas in doncaster zoo all the animals were like so far away and you can't really see them and it was like nah so yeah i has enjoyed a day out but i don't think i'd ever go back just gonna wait for Yasser to come back from the post office. I'm gonna head inside. I'm just gonna do some tidying up. I need to make Yasser something to eat. And then later on, um, I'm planning to go and see a friend and we're gonna go grab something to eat. So I'll probably record that. Um, so yeah. People are, just, people are just like looking at me like, why is she talking to herself? It's just so awkward. <laughs> uh, but you know what? It's, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hi guys. So um, I'm finally out. I managed to get a whole bunch of cleaning done. Uh, we ate some dinner. Um, I had some spaghetti bolognese, which my mum made me. She basically makes it like a lasagna. It was so nice. So I had some of that. Um, I'm now out. I'm gonna go grab a bite with a friend, and I will show you what I get. So I'll see. Sunday and it's already like three o'clock Um, I just spent the day just chilling doing some tidying up and um, I managed to edit my video so that it's ready to be uploaded today 
Um, I asked on Instagram if you guys preferred content being uploaded on a Sunday or a Tuesday and the majority voted for Sunday so I'm going to try and aim to get it um, up today. Um, what else did I do? I made, oh, made dinner. We had a seed today. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what a seed is, it's a Yemeni traditional dish which is basically like if you've ever had a Chinese dumpling, you know that texture of that dough? It's like that, it's like a sticky dough, okay? But it comes in like a big bowl of dough and you, you cook it. Um, I'll try and include some pictures or videos because I did take some recordings. But basically you boil up some water, throw in some flour, mix it up and that creates your dough and then you make like a broth or a curry or a stew whatever to like pick out the dough and dip it in it's really really good it's like one of my favorite Yemeni dishes so I made some marak and I made that seed while I'm talking about a seed for all my Yemenis out there here's a tip because no one told me this I kind of figured it out on my own but basically if you use a non-stick pan it is so much better because it's so much easier to clean. Like I know everyone dreads cleaning that seed pan because a lot of the dough just remains on the pan and it's really hard to take it off. Um, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold today. I don't know why, a bit of like sniffles. And then, yeah. And then another tip is to add like a tablespoon of butter towards the end. And what happens is it, it gathers the whole acid like it gathers it all into one bowl um and then yeah you end up with a really nice clean pan uh, which means you don't have to work really hard to clean the pan the other thing i do is i get the handle and i push it back and forward and side to side and basically it then helps it come together even more and then i just plunk it into the bowl um so yeah, try it out. Don't use like your normal metal, silver dishes that we all have and use. Use a non-stick pan. Amazing. Like it's a game changer, trust me. Um, so yeah, that's that. So I had acid. Um, yes, it's just currently watching TV. Asim's just chilling in the room with him. I'm going to now make banana bread. Yeah, so I had to go to Tesco because I needed some walnuts. Some muffin cases. I prefer my banana bread in as a muffin because I think it's easier to eat. Less mess. Brown sugar and some pink salt. So what I like to do is set everything up. So let's get started. Hooray. Well done. Here, do this one. Can you do this one for me? Push. Have you pushed? Is it done? Oh, it's not done. You forgot to push it in. Push it in. Go on then. Push, push that one in. Secure it. Banana bread is ready. In fact, let me have a quick check. Yeah, they look so nice. Um, I'm just hoping that they taste nice. Um, I'm going to be sharing some with my in-laws uh, because today we are going to go out and play tennis with them. So I thought I'd bring some along with me. Um, but yeah, the weather doesn't look that great. So... I don't know if it's gonna happen. Um, and if it doesn't happen, then I've got all this banana bread. Oh, as you can see, I've still got my pink wall. The renovations are still paused. Um, this is like the third week. 
which is really annoying because I just want it to be all over and done with. Um, and I've got like my washing machine that's out because um, I need to wait for the kitchen to be renovated. And so, yeah, things like that are really annoying me. Like, there's so many things that are not in their place, like our clothes, we still have loads of clothes in, uh, black bin liners, um, Asim's room still the way it is from the last time I showed you. And so, yeah, it's, please. Oh, hey, those look so good. I need to taste this. Shallow tastes nice because, like I said, I've never made a double batch, and I'm also sharing this with family, so. So nice. Is it nice? having half of a banana bread um, I'm just gonna make a cup of tea um, I've been told that tennis has been cancelled because it's so miserable it's actually raining outside so yeah that's not gonna happen I'm just gonna wait for the next batch to cook and then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next with my life um, I think yes I mentioned that he wants to take yes uh, ask him around to his mom's uh, we're not too sure yet um, but yeah, I'm shattered. I don't know how I would have gone and played tennis because I'm so really full from the acid. But yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm just going to sit down with Gassi. I'm going to check my emails. Um, make sure my video is ready to be uploaded for half seven. Um, so yeah, if you've not checked out my potty training video, please go check it out. Or if you know someone that wants to start but doesn't know how to, send them my way. Like, honestly, I've got you. Hi guys, so today is Monday and at the moment we're parked at Jump Inc. I'm going to take Rasim um, jumping on all the trampolines. Um, so yeah, after that I'm going to nip into Meadowhall I think. And then yeah, just head home. So we're going to burn lots of energy. Bye guys, I'll catch you soon. Bye. to jump and he had an amazing time we spent nearly two hours there um, and it's it's a real workout um, he really had a good time and after we were done he had some toast because he refused to have breakfast today so after working up an appetite he managed to eat like two thick slices of toast which was good we then headed to our local shopping center, Meadow Hall, because I wanted to go to Primark and pick up some more of these earrings. Um, but unfortunately, they didn't have any in stock. I missed out on these. I should have just picked up two when I got these. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So I'm going to show you what I got from Primark. I'm not going to show you everything I got because there are some just like simple, boring, um, basic stuff. So you don't want to see that. But I will show you the things that have caught my eye. Um, so I, one of the first things I noticed and I made sure to pick up was this product. So this reminds me of, so basically it's just for matte lipsticks and it reminds me of the Huda Beauty, um, I don't know what the fourth one is but I've got, I'm trying to hold three in one go, it's <laughs> doing a crap job, but basically it reminded me of these. Now, I picked up four of these in a pack for about £32, I think. And this was £4 for four. So, I'm really interested to see how they compare to, like, you know, the Huda Beauty. Because clearly, they're a dupe for the Huda Beauty. Um, and I absolutely love these lipsticks. These are, like, my everyday lipsticks when I'm at work. And even though they're tiny, they last forever. So, the next thing I picked up was some masks. Now, all of these masks were 50, not 50 pence, they were all 80 pence, which I thought was a really good price, but normally they're about £2.50. Um, so I picked up a whole bunch of different ones. I've got like pink clay uh, for pores, deep cleansing ones, 
And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these in the fridge. And then whenever I feel like my skin needs to pick me up, you know, time, which at the moment is all the time, I'm gonna just whack one of these on. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop them in the fridge so that when I do apply them on, it just feels really refreshing and cool. And especially on like hot days, this would feel really nice on cold. So I picked up those. Right, what else did I pick up? I picked up this maxi skirt. It caught my eye last time, but I didn't buy it. And then I noticed that it was uh, on offer. It was actually more than half price off. Let's see how much it was. So originally it was 15 pounds. And it went down to seven. I'm gonna pair it up with um, a white t-shirt. It's high-waisted as well, white t-shirt, gold hoops. And yeah, I'm good to go. Last thing I'm gonna show you is this bubble. I love the sheer volume that this bubble is giving me. And it reminds me of, you know those hijabi um, bubbles that you wear for volume? Uh, well, it reminded me of that and I thought this was really nice. Really like that, that was two pounds. So, that's my Primark haul. I also got an Amazon delivery when I got home, so I'm gonna show you what I got. So this is a laminator and super lightweight. And it came with a bunch of other things. I think I got mine for like 23 pounds. It was on offer, but it's back to 30 pounds now. It came with, let me show you. It came with a whole pack of plastic pouches. But I also noticed that in, so I've got A4 pouches. I've got like, is it A2? No, A5. A5 pouches, and then I don't know what these are, like A6 like really small pouches so um yeah what i want to do is laminate some of his stuff these uh word cards so they come in a box and it's a phonic spelling game uh, but i've noticed that glassing is starting to uh, crease there i'm not sure if you can tell on the camera but it's it's folded here um and I want to keep this game. I think it's such a good game. And I think laminating it will help it last a lot longer. Yeah, I'm going to make a start and I'm going to laminate all of these and this leaflet. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys, so today is Tuesday and it's nearly already 2 p.m. and I am knackered. So, I'll tell you why. I've spent most of the day just cleaning the house from top to bottom and that's because my prayers have finally been answered. So, we had someone come today to measure all the radiators and the rooms because, yeah, we're going to get gas pipes fitted in sometime soon. I did ask when they thought, you know, the work would happen and would start. And he said within a month, I'm hoping within two weeks, so it can all be done before I go back to work. Um, there are other things that we want to try and fix in the house, which now I'm like, maybe we should leave them because it's just going to be a headache. All these jobs that you're doing is just, yeah, it's just one big headache. I do want to have a nap, but I know that if I have a nap, Gassim's going to have a nap as well. And he's not going to sleep till like half ten. And I hate that it does interfere with his bedtime. Um, even if he sleeps for like five minutes, he won't sleep till like really late. So, yeah. But my sister-in-law has rebooked a game of tennis today at 6pm. So, maybe I should have a nap. Otherwise, I'm going to be... Otherwise, I'm just going to be really tired. He's back. <laughs> uh, I always try and like run away from him so I can quickly record. But he always finds me, don't you? You always find me. So yeah, I think I might have a nap. Um, but yeah, I also want to put a face mask on. It's okay. One of the face masks that I bought from Primark <laughs> because I'm breaking up. Like crazy. Hello. Hello. Hi guys. So I'm gonna quickly update you. Oh no. Okay, do you want a hug? Yeah. Come on, give me a hug. Oh. Right, so um me and Gasson decided to have a nap and then we woke up to a text message 
um, where we were invited. Excuse my hair, I'm just, I'm just wrapped up real quick. Um, I'm not leaving out, I'm not going out like this, but yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, we woke up to an invitation to his cousin's party, and it was like quarter past four, um, and I was like, yeah, sure, we'll come. I mean, I knew um, I had tennis planned, uh, but I thought I'd just, I'd just go after tennis, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so she responds back, and she's like, five o'clock, and I'm like, what? what? So, panic sets in. Um, um, so yeah, for the last hour, we've just been trying to get ready. Um, literally, I woke up from the dead. So I had to shower, I had to give him a shower. I had to find some clothes for him. All his decent clothes are still in black liners. Um, I had to send Yasser out. Thankfully, um, he's got afternoon off. So I was like, you need to quickly go and buy a gift. Um, every time it's been Qasim's birthday, they've always gifted him like the best presents. So I was like, we can't go empty handed. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting now. No, don't do that. I'm just waiting now. Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting now for um, Yasser to come back home with the gift and then we're gonna set off. I did tell her that we wouldn't be there for five o'clock and we would be running late. So hopefully that's okay. I'll catch you soon. finally home um it's about half ten so we managed to attend Qasim's cousin's birthday happy birthday Muhammad he turned five today we were late but we made it um and Qasim really enjoyed it he played loads they have a really nice garden uh, we don't have a garden so Qasim loved that um and then we went around to my mother-in-law's because i had to drop her off and we stayed for a little bit and i wasn't in a rush to come home because i knew he wasn't going to be going to bed anytime soon and anything to tire him out i'm so up for it so we went to my mother-in-law's and then he was still not asleep um it's like yeah half ten and he's still wide awake so yes is now attempting to drive him around sheffield to knock him out to sleep um I'm hoping that he does um, because I'm ready to call it a day. Um, so yeah, on that note, I am going to wrap it up. Um, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, for everyone out there that consistently watches my videos every week, I see you and I always appreciate you. I appreciate your support. So thank you so much. It means so much to me. And yeah, until um, the next video, stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.